down and they pay over time. So with this financing program from Clean Energy Bank, customer always has a leverage. And on top of that, we have a really, really responsive customer service team. Um, so the customer can always have maintenance service from us. In fact, we make periodic visits to our customer sites and provide maintenance service on an ongoing basis. So because of these high quality components, very, very friendly financing, great after sales service, uh, that's how we've been able to grow. That's how we've been able to become the fastest growing uh, solar electricity company in Nepal. And uh, the customers are, you know, basically a proof of that. In the last uh, three or four months, to date, we've, we've installed 30 kilowatts of solar, powering about 60 households. And uh, now I'd like to take a step back and show you some of these sites where we have done our work and share our experience. Well, typically in Gampower, when we install solar in residential um, households, we put them on the roof. So here's an example of our installation. It's a half kilowatt system done in uh, Buranilkanta, Kathmandu. Uh, you see those three panels up there? Uh, this is a, a system that provides a half a kilowatt, which is enough to power um, all your uh, common household appliances. So you can have your lights, TV, computer, uh, your fridge, even powers uh, water pumps, which is a big necessity in Nepal. Now, uh, we'll go through one uh, commercial installation. This one is in Tapatali. It's another half kilowatt system with three panels. Uh, now, with systems like these, uh, the way it works is it's kind of like a, uh, a UPS for your entire household. So the, the building does not really know, or the, or the residents do not really know that the, the utility electricity has gone off because the inverters that we use automatically switch on uh, to solar power the moment electricity goes away. Uh, so it's kind of a nice convenience for people who are using computers or any sensitive equipments, uh, or if you're watching TV during World Cup, uh, you won't miss your goals. And then um, here's another installation, residential, uh, half kilowatt in Chabil. Again, um, three panels up on the roof. And again, we deal with both flat roofs as well as sloped roofs. And uh, some of the people uh, that we're working with, they opt for smaller systems, a one or two panel system. The one you see here is uh, a two panel system in Hanumante Pool area in Lalitpur. Uh, now with systems like these, um, compared to the three panel systems is that uh, when the, it doesn't work like a UPS, so when the electricity goes away, uh, you kind of have to go up there and 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 turn on the solar. Uh, now we do that so that um, the household does not draw a lot of power from our solar panels all at once. Uh, so a little bit of manual intervention, but then again, uh, these systems cost a little less than the three-panel system that we use. And on the larger end, uh, here's a four-kilowatt um, security street light system that we did in a Druk Amitava mountain monastery, uh, which is in Sitapala area of Kathmandu. And we'll give you a little bit more detail on how we took on this project in uh, March 2010. Druk Amitava mountain monastery is in Sitapala. Uh, it's a beautiful location, and we were very lucky to have a four kilowatt system. Uh, what you see here is uh, about 15 panels on top of their conference hall. We have another five at a different location. Um, and then uh, there's a huge battery bank that stores all the energy that comes from the sun. And then there's an inverter that converts this into electricity that's used around the temple area. In initially, I think, yes, this is actually more for security lighting around the uh, Gompa. As you know, Druk Amitabha has grown so big, you know. Many areas need to, needed to be lit up. And especially being a nunnery, His Holiness is very, very concerned about the security of the nuns. This is a nunnery. And uh, one of the big problems they had was uh, with security lights during light because during the dark, it was not very safe. So uh, Gampower installed about 22 lights, like the ones you see over here, completely powered by solar. And so now during the nighttime, the whole compound area, which is about 200 ropani, all these lights, they light up automatically during nights uh, to, to, power, uh, to light up the area. And they turn off by themselves in the morning time. Uh, it's a huge, um, uh, hugely beneficial thing for all the nuns there. Um, so that they can go around the uh, compound area uh, without having to be um, feeling insecure in the dark. Um, we also were happy, uh, fortunate enough to do this during the time of their annual conference, so um, uh, all the visitors that came around from the world had a glimpse of how solar energy was used uh, in an environmentally responsible way. But still, uh, companies like Gampower can use a lot of help 
uh, from our friends living abroad, uh, the non-resident Nepalis or well-wishers of Nepal's elsewhere. Well, the first thing you can do is uh, go ahead and buy these systems for your friends and family back in Nepal. Uh, we have recently announced a uh, program, a campaign, in conjunction with Tamil.com, where you, li anybody living abroad, can buy a system online and uh, pay for the system online while the system gets installed in Nepal. This makes it really easy for somebody living, in, let's say, in New York or in San Francisco to get a solar panel system installed at their family's house in Kathmandu. That's the first thing you can do. Um, secondly, the households are just the beginning. Uh, when we go talk about commercial and go beyond from there, the capacity of solar is actually to go build power plants. Um, you know, if you look around the world, most of the times we see, most of the solar news you see is about uh, communities or local cities or even companies building power plants from 2 to 5 megawatts all the way up to 30 and 40 megawatts. So in Nepal, this opportunity exists as well. So we need investors to come help us uh, and help build these large scale power plants. Another place where we can use a lot of help is at policy level. You see, the way solar is being promoted elsewhere in the world is from help from the government in terms of policies. Um, you don't have to go far. You can even go to places like India and China uh, where they're adopting policies where uh, there's a lot of subsidies to install solar. Uh, if you're in the US, you're installing solar, 50% of the cost is bared by the government. In Nepal, it's zero. Um, if you're in India, for example, if you produce solar electricity in the state of Karnataka and you're selling it back to the utility, they will buy it at a higher rate, at 18 rupees per unit. In Nepal, there's no system to even sell electricity back to the government or to the utility. Um, so there are a lot of things like these, uh, providing lower interest rates uh, for financing for solar. Uh, banks like ADB and World Bank, they've done this elsewhere, not in Nepal. So we need help in making a case, and it's not asking them to do something new. It's asking the government and these INGOs to do something they've done elsewhere in the world so that Nepali customers who are interested in solar can buy it like somebody in the US or somebody like in India buys at those price points. This will definitely help in terms of adoption of solar. And finally, it's about the environment. This is the right thing to do. Although in terms of energy uses, a lot of us are only looking at solar in terms of economic price points, think about what kind of world are you going to leave when you go away from here for your kids. Is it going to be a better, cleaner place or is it going to be more polluted, dirtier place? And solar energy and renewable energy options are like that is what's needed to stop this madness about using fossil fuel and other environmentally irresponsible uses of energy. And so for that fact, we have to start right now. You've all heard about the receding water levels in the Himalayan glaciers. We've all heard about global warming. And this time, if we keep continuing with using diesel generators, using fossil fuels to, um, for electricity in Nepal or anywhere else in the world, this is not going to help us. And so, just like anywhere else in the world, we as Nepalese need to get aggressive about this as well and start promoting the use of clean energy. And Gahan Power and companies like us are, are here, are in Nepal, working on this, and we need your help. So, thanks for letting us share our story. Um, you can go to www.gahanpower.com to learn more about us. We have a Facebook fan page. You can send us emails at contact at gahanpower.com. And uh, if you're interested in purchasing a system, please mention that you saw this presentation. We have a special offer for anybody who says that they've learned about Gahan Power at this presentation. And let us help you. Let us help your families out there, because uh, I think we have the best system, uh, best solar energy system out there uh, for Nepali homes and businesses. So thanks a lot, and namaste.